How you doing? I'm Jimmy McDougal, formerly Jimmy Falcone. I used to be a big shot in the New York Mafia until I turned rat to keep from being whacked. It wasn't easy turning on my old friends, but them turning on me first made it a little easier. But the hardest thing I ever had to do was to tell my family we had to go into witness protection. So, guys, I got something important to say. You know how all my friends are trying to kill me? Yes, Daddy. It's all you ever talk about. You really shouldn't bring your work home with you. Well, I was thinking, to fix the problem, maybe we should leave town. What? I hate you! But I'm Class Campo! We love it here! No freaking way! For once, I agree with your idiot uncle! No freaking way! <laughs> okay, let's move. And that's how we came to be living here in Vagina... Regina... Saskatchewan. But if you think it's gonna keep this family from sticking together, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the couple with the Gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Okay, you, Elephant Man, your pony didn't come in, you're into me for 500. Dollface, you done all right, you got three big ones coming. This ain't been your week, Randy. Your no-show puts you in a hole for 10 Lodge, and I want something now. This just ain't satisfying. But in for a penny, in for a pound. I see. No, thank you for calling Principal Pistagas. Do you know what your daughter did? I just got off with the principal. Got off with the principal. <laughs> this is serious! Gina's suspended for a week. Apparently, she's been selling candy to other kids, which is forbidden on school property. Look, I'm sure she has a good reason. It was probably just to make money. Hey, Ma, guess what? I was sent home early for good behavior. Oh, and how do you plan to explain the rest of the week, young lady? Busted. Damn straight you busted. Your principal called. No TV for a week. Pissed again! You done? Uh-huh. Ah, <sighs> Teresa, can we have a girl talk? Of course. I'm just glad you're finally admitting that you're a girl. A guy starts one Twilight fan club and he's branded for life. I need help with a girl. That girl. <laughs> now, if she has bad taste, too, you got it made. I can't even bring myself to talk to her. Aw, that's so sweet. Coming to your big sister for advice on love. All right, Petey. I'll have you banging her in no time. I was hoping to carry her books, but whatever works. First thing we need to do is get this girl to know who you are. But she can't know the real you or she'd set herself on fire. You've got to be strong, confident, sure of yourself. Okay, strong, confident, sure of myself. You think she'd like that? Petey, women don't like wimps. They want to be swept off their feet by a dominant, rock-hard son of an oil baron. What? Just go over there and be aggressive. She's yours for the taking. I'm strong, tough, alpha. Strong, tough, alpha. Hey! What? Uh, love me? Wow. Just, wow. That's it. My entire stash. You clean me out. No TV for a week, young lady. Never do something like this again. You've embarrassed the whole family. Come on, no one's really embarrassed. It's just a figment of speech. It's not that. How am I ever gonna learn to be a no good hustler if I ain't got no role models? You got me, don't you? <laughs> but you're all washed up. Washed up? You know, I still got a thing or two I can teach you. For example, I never would have got caught for moving cheap loot like this. Whoa, whoa, this Canadian candy is primo stuff. You can't even get this in the States. Try it. First taste is free. It's all free. We just took it from you. My God, he's choking. Someone call an ambulance. What's 911 in Canadian? Holy mother of God, that is good. It's better than good. It's... What's a word that means better than good? Oh, what's all this racket about? A man can't hear his own pornography. Try this. It's Canadian candy. I thought Pam Anderson was Canadian candy. 
Our own. This stuff's better than anything we got back home. Fat Americans are paid through the nose for this stuff. Hold it. Hold it. I'm getting an idea. It's coming. It's percolating. It's percolating. It's dripping. Dripping. Got it! We'll smuggle this stuff into the States and make a fortune. We'll take prohibition to a whole new level. All right, boys, you're off the hook. This is the thing I've been looking for. Something to get my blood flowing. What do you think, Cook? Mm. Oh. Passport. See, Jimmy? I told you bribing a border guard would be a snap. Some suspicious looking boxes, but there's nothing we can do. They're taped shut. Ain't it great to be back in the old US of A? Hey, everyone. I'm Captain Candy Pants. Come and get your candy in my pants. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, keep going. Dig deeper. Scram, we're taking over. This is our turf now. But I always work here. I'll give you a free taffy pull. I got your taffy pull right here. You're all working for me now. You got a problem with that? Like taking candy from a baby. And then selling it to another baby. Here's your taste, boss. The hell you doing in fur coats? I told you to keep a low profile. You're gonna get us all pinched. It's in my wife's name. What did I just tell you? Not too bright, but the good little learners. You know, I haven't felt this alive since that day I got stabbed at the racetrack. Yeah, those were good times. Mister, I'd like four of everything. Looks good. Cheech, give me stuff. There you go, kid. The finest uncut cocoa solids Canada has to offer. Don't do them all at once. Thanks, but I'm not the one who needs advice. We're shutting you dirtbags down! Freeze! Food and Delicious Candy Administration! You're under arrest for supplying a weak-willed American populace with treats from a different and therefore inferior country! I was framed! I'll wait for you, Jimmy! I can't believe how much this thing vibrates. Take your time, Jimmy! What in God's name is wrong with you? Uh, hello. I try and I try and I try. I play the bad guy, I play the good guy. Every day, I wake up and I say, today's the day they'll get it. But do you? No, we don't know. What more do I have to do? I mean, really, you tell me. What more must I do for you to at long last get it? I don't know. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. Maybe if I can just understand what goes on in those warped little minds of yours. Why would you risk everything for just a few hundred dollars? Jimmy told me to! McCool, you wouldn't understand. Try me. I miss the action. I sit around the house being a dad. I go to work and have a job. What kind of life is that? But something like this, it gave me that adrenaline rush I used to get every day in the old life. Is that all? Well, why didn't you say so? Jimmy, if you want an adrenaline rush, I know just the thing. You gotta be shitting me. This, my friend, is action. Looks more like a bunch of dusty guys trying to put the moves on farm animals. On the surface, perhaps, but look deeper, Jimmy. Imagine it. You're on top of a bull, hanging on for dear life. Your blood is boiling in your veins, adrenaline flooding your brain. Your only thought, to best the beast before he takes your life. You don't hear the roar of the crowd flowering their adulation upon you. You can't hear them chanting, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. No, they're chanting McCool, McCool, McCool. Jimmy, Jimmy. McCool, McCool. A hundred bucks says Jimmy, Jimmy. Another hundred says I kick your ass. 
Jimmy, I don't gamble for money. That's what gambling is. But if you insist on humiliating yourself, I will wager you for honor. Great. How much is that in American? The loser must, in a clear baritone, extending from the diaphragm, declare that the other is a better man than himself. You're on. I got one question. If a man does it to a girl sheep, that's not gay, right? I mean, the church is okay with that. I don't know. I'm not Catholic. Hello? What do you mean, hello? I've been trying to reach you for two days. I figured I'd be your one phone call. Cookie, calm down. Mukul was my one phone call. They took my cell phone, and by the time I got it back, I forgot. What? Oh, you forgot. I already told the kids you were dead. Gina, your father's alive. Put his cigars back where you found him. I just can't catch a break. Hello? Is this the guy who said, and I quote, I never would have got caught for moving cheap loot like this. Well, you did get caught, and now I'm smoking all your cigars. And that's what you get for cutting me out of my own scam. Cookie, who was that? Jimmy, the whole family's going to hell in a handbasket because of you. Look, Cook, I'm sorry. I'll be home as soon as I can. But I'm at a rodeo, and I gotta prove to McCool that I'm a better man than myself. Could you just say you're at a strip joint, you fat f What did she say? The usual. I'm not sure about this, Teresa. Petey, really? This is how you have to dress if you want girls to notice you. It just feels a little busy. Listen, dum-dum, I watch a show called The Way of the Pickup, and the guy who hosts it, Enigma, says if you want to get the girls, you gotta dress like a schizo freak. It's called peacocking. Well, I refuse to follow the advice of some perverted charlatan. My dignity is too important. He's been with 482 different women. Should I add a top hat? Okay, Petey, Enigma says that 90% of becoming a successful pickup artist is learning to overcome your fear of rejection. And to do that, you need to get rejected a lot. Teresa, I could write a book about being rejected. In fact, I have. But it was rejected. You're gonna ask out every girl who walks past you, and you're gonna get rejected so many times, you'll never care about it again. But what if one of them accepts? Petey, if you're not gonna take this seriously... Back off, bitch! Those shoes are mine! <sighs> Excuse me, ma'am, would you like to go on a date? Hello there, miss. You look lovely today. Excuse me, but I, I, I couldn't help but notice. Oh, Teresa's right. This isn't so bad. Who cares if they don't like me? It's very freeing. I'm a bedwetter. Do you think I have pretty eyes? I masturbate all the time. All the time. Hey, you want to play with my boa? Why, yes, I would, young man. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. It's okay, honey. I saw you. It's very sexy. Ah, sh. You sure you want to go through with this, McCool? I'm not going to go easy on you. It's not my style. So I'll give you one last chance to back out. McCools don't back out, Jimmy. They thrust in. Okay, it's your funeral. I just got one question. What's with these freaking pants? Me? I like them. I enjoy the draft. Woo! Ha ha! Yee ha! Yee ha! Yeah! 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 Woo! Yeah! Ha ha! Yee ha! Okay? I can't take it no more, Cheech. My face is cut, my muscles are torn, my ribs are cracked, and there's no skin left on my ass. You saying you're giving up? Jimmy, you can't. You'd have to tell McCool he's a better man. Plus, you can still win, because a bull riding's worth more points than all the other events combined. How's that for exposition? I don't know. Maybe I can pull it together for one more event. Watch this, Jimmy! No hands! <laughs> Cool is the toughest, most manliest man in the whole wide world.
cool? Yes? I can't watch this. You are a better man than I. Thank you, Jimmy. It takes a big man to say that. And I think it's safe to say you found the action you were looking for. Oh, and one more thing. I found something I believe is yours. Hey, Jimmy. He just handed you your ass. I clob at him! Pops, Pops, what was the rodeo like, huh? What did that copper stupid face look like when he saw you're the biggest, baddest guy out there? Did you ride the horse like this? Huh? Or like this? <laughs> oh, well, you know, I pretty much just rode the horse the normal horse riding way. Wow. I started to think that maybe you'd lost all your moves, that you'd gone soft, you know? But you sure showed me cool, didn't you, Pops? Yeah, I sure did. Too bad you couldn't have been there to see it, because turns out I did so well, so perfected it, that they decided there will never have to be another rodeo ever again anywhere, ever. Thank you so much for walking me home, Petey. It's become such a dangerous neighborhood. You live between a church and a police station. Well, you never know. Well, I guess I should be heading off. No, no, stay. I'll make some cocoa. Um, I'm not sure this is appropriate. Well, why wouldn't it be appropriate? I suppose it wouldn't be if something untoward were to happen. Are you thinking about something untoward? No, 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 of course not. Well, good. Coco it is. Hot? Creamy? <gasps> Coco. You know, I like talking to you, Petey. People are so hung up with age, but really, it's just a number. But yours is so much higher than mine. You seem nervous, Petey. Are you nervous, Petey? I mean, I guess so. I know. It must be so hard to be a young man these days. All the rules are changing. The pressures, the contradictions, the confusion. Yeah, I'm pretty confused right about now. I know, and I want to hear all about it. There, 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 there. <laughs> Quite the day you've had. You must be exhausted becoming a rodeo champion. Nah, it wasn't too bad. Kind of invigorating, actually. You're lying. Why do you say that? Because I found this. It's not mine. Oh, please. You didn't beat McCool. Odds are he mopped the floor with you. The man is practically built for horse wrangling. Or lassoing, or caressing the body of a middle-aged woman. Why is your upper lip sweating? It's not. And why'd you lie to me? You know I don't care if you win a stupid rodeo or not. It's not the rodeo. It's everything. I used to be someone. I used to be the big man in town. And now, I'm not even a man. I'm just some poor schnook who has to tell a Mountie he's a better man than me. It's demobilizing. You shut your mouth. You're Jimmy Falcone. And Jimmy Falcone's a fighter, not a quitter. I don't give a damn about a rodeo or losing it to some Mountie, but you do. So suck it up and be the man I fell in love with. You're right. I'm gonna take that Mountie down. Hand me my ass. Jimmy, the other way. Ass backwards, so that's where the expression comes from. Manure. Jimmy, what are you doing here? You already conceded. Yeah? Well, I'm unconceit. You know when I said you're a better man than me? Well, I'm taking it back. As you wish, but I do advise against it. There's a reason bull riding is worth more than half the points. It's one of the most dangerous sports in the world. So is cheerleading, but I still do it. Now, out of my way. 
Where the hell have you been? So unclean. Oh my god! No effing way! You did it! Congratulations! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, no more touching! I don't ever want to be touched again! Or smell mothballs, or see a doily, or eat a hard candy, or see dentures come out, or see weird stockings that go just below the knee, or see breasts that go just below the knee. He just completely ignored me. That is so hot. Petey, Petey, wait up! All right, Bull. I've got a lot riding on this. So like I told my wife on our wedding night, give me eight seconds and I'll be on my way. Whoa! Ow! Oh! Okay, I asked nicely. Now we do it my way. Oh! Italian guy. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Stay down, Jimmy! Don't get up, Daddy! You can't do it, Pop! Stop it, Pop! It's embarrassing! Jimmy, enough! <laughs> ah. Jimmy, stop! You're killing yourself! You have heart. Tremendous heart, I admit it, but no bet is worth this! It is to me. All right, if it will make you end this madness, fine. You're a better man than I, Jimmy McDougal. A better man than I. Tell me something I don't know. Jimmy, you did it! He said it, you won! Way to hang in there, Pops! It was amazing, Daddy! Jimmy, can you do it again? I was in the john. I began the day as a schnook. But now, I am a man! Me too. La 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 how you doing? I'm the FBI informant and shell of a man formerly known as Jimmy Falcone. One thing I don't miss about the old life is how nobody did nothing without an interior motive. Oh, Frankie brought cake. Really? What's the occasion? What? I need an occasion to do something nice? Mm. Kill my brother-in-law. Before or after the sugar high, you lazy bastard. Thanks for helping me move, Joe. No problem. Just help me get these on the truck. And it didn't matter how small the favor. They always expected something in return. Really, Joe? You moved like one box. Thanks for driving us to the airport, Bruno. Yeah, swallow these. You'll need a laxative when you land. Your brother-in-law says, hey. <coughs> I'm gonna need that laxative. Here in the great bland north, people are nice for no reason at all. It gives me the creeps. I still haven't figured out their angle, but if you think I'll ever get used to Canadian polititude, you can f Hey, the drugs came out. Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. And the answer to what sexual position are you is... Missionary? <laughs> Stupid online quiz. I thought for sure I'd get Belgian wishbone. That was there when I got here. And I need a new computer. No problem, Jimmy. So last night I was at home thinking about you. Long and hard. <laughs> it occurred to me what a breath of fresh air you've been to this office. And I wanted to show my appreciation. So, what do you want? Nothing, Jimmy. Want me to whack somebody? Oh, gosh, no. Move some merchandise? Not at all. 
Then what is it? It's just a cake, Jimmy. I also wanted to give you a hug, but provincial guidelines forbid it. So I got you a hug mug instead. I don't know what to say. I'm... I'm very confused. Oh, look, your uncle is here. Hey, Slugger. <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> I love this kid. What a face! Now get out of here, champ. Who's that schmuck? What are you doing here, Cheech? My printer's on the fritz. Paper jam? Nah, I shot it. No one tells Cheech Falcone to load cyan cartridge. I gotta print some pictures of cats asking for cheeseburgers. No, you don't. How else am I supposed to share them with my friends? Get with the future, Jimmy. A, you're not stealing my printer. B, you got no friends. And C, get the f out of my office. You didn't say there was going to be a test. I'm out of here. Vagina tourism. Yo, this thing prints in color, right? <laughs> God damn it! What did I say? You printer stealing motherfucker! I had to rip your fucking head off and shove it straight up your fucking wazoo! Okay, Jimmy. Thanks. Ah, uh, Jimmy. We should talk about that anger right after I change my pants. Sorry I had to knock with my boot. You can knock boots here anytime, McCool. <laughs> it appears Gina somehow got a hold of my uh, handcuffs and I need the keys. Well, looky here. Our big Mounties in handcuffs. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if he's ticklish. Will you stop? <laughs> oh, this is highly irregular. <laughs> Ladies, stop. <laughs> you want those keys? You're gonna have to give us something, McCool. Yeah, dance! Certainly not. <laughs> 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 For crying out loud. Here, let him go. You're taking all the fun out of illegal confinement. Gina Madonna Falcone, you're confined to your room for the rest of the day for this little stunt. <laughs> I could do that standing on my head. That's gonna give you a bald spot. I'm not actually standing on my head, genius. Cookie, have you ever thought of enrolling Gina in the Scared Straight program? Is that when hardened criminals yell and intimidate kids? Because that's dinner at our house. Early prevention is crucial for wayward youth. In my spare time, I volunteer with at-risk children who... Yeah, yeah, scared straight, you're a saint. I get it. Now, what are you gonna give me for these keys? I'm confused, Toby. You never get mad. What do you know about anger management? <laughs> oh, Jimmy. I'm angry in ways that defy logic and international convention. But I manage my anger issues. I don't got angry issues. My uncle was just driving me nuts. Can I go? You can't blame family for pushing your buttons. That's called deflecting. Guess who's getting a gold star? Boop! You try living with a nut job like Cheech. He doesn't just push buttons. He craps on them and doesn't flush. I have a family member who's hard to deal with, Jimmy. Why don't you come to my house for dinner and see how I deal with my hard member? Ooh, can I come too? Any more questions? Why do I have to go to prison? You got your damn keys back, didn't you? Yes, but I had to promise your mother a summer of yard work in my Daisy Dukes. In any case, this is the intake where they check convicts for contraband. You missed a few things. Gord Downey's impenetrable lyrics! What do you need with all these weapons? How else am I supposed to make someone my bitch? <laughs> what was that for? She was reaching for the rubber gloves! I know what that means! All right, now, take me to jail. Where are you going? Out for dinner. Great. I'll get my coat. Keep your coat. I'm going alone. But I'm starving. There's never any food around here. Aw, oh, leftovers again. <sighs> what are you gonna do? I'm here now. All right, fine. But be on your best behavior. That's my boss's house. Church rules, okay? Right. The pants stay on. I know Cheech wasn't invited, but he tagged along anyhow. See what I mean about this guy? This is why you're here. To see how I deal with my own Uncle Cheech. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Good one. 
Who are these dicks? <clears throat> uh, this is Jimmy and his Uncle Cheech. Guys, this is my mom, Greta. Hey, jerks, check this out. <laughs> Come on, how about now? What I have for lunch? Guess I'll get dinner on the table. Ah, <laughs> oh, my thong's chafing. I'll be right back. Jesus, what a monster. Toby didn't even flinch. That's impressive. No, Jimmy, that's impressive. <laughs> An ugly statue of a goose? That ugly statue is the Gibraltar goose. It's worth a fortune. People have been cutting each other's throats to get their hands on it forever. I had it once, but it slipped through my fingers. I killed my best friend, double-crossed my mother, and betrayed the woman I love. But I finally got you. This time, Coney Island. Oh, roller coaster! I tried to get it back but I was out of subway tokens. This here goose is the stuff dreams are made out of, Jimmy. Well, don't get any ideas about stealing it. What's eating you? Toby's trying to help me. You're not robbing him. Rob him? I don't even know who he is. <clears throat> Give me the, the hand. Let go of the... I said hands off! Jimmy, stop abusing Uncle Cheech. This is not how you deal with anger. It's hummus, for Christ's sake. I had hummus! <laughs> the barista gave me cinnamon sprinkles instead of chocolate. I spoke very sharply to her manager. I'm a monster! I just want to cut myself over and over and... Hold that thought, Agnes. I want to focus on someone who really <laughs> needs help. Jimmy, is there anything you'd like to talk about? Why, yes, there is. I move that these meetings be catered. Someone's deflecting again. What was it Cheech did last night that made you wanna, what was it, skull bang him straight to hell? Whatever he did, <sighs> I have learned that I can't be responsible for his behaviors, only for mine own. Question for the group, who's getting a gold star today? Not Agnes, I'll goddamn tell you that. And speaking of Cheech, did you know he asked my mom out on a date? And she said, fuck yes, end quote. Isn't that great, Jimmy? We'll practically be brothers. <laughs> Call off the date, Cheech. No can do. I really like this broad. Give me a break. You're just using her. Keep your hands off that freaking goose, capiche? You got it all wrong, Jimbo. I want to woo this dame, show her a good time, make her feel good. Then, rob her blind? Nah. Bang her in the back seat of the car, in her butt. Oh, and I'm borrowing the SUV. <laughs> Think you're tough? I eat tough for breakfast. Sometimes a smoothie. I'm doing 10 years for robbery. Got caught because my tank was empty. Worst part is, I was robbing a gas station. Isn't it ironic? Get out of my head, Alanis! What a mook. What'd you say to me? You're a mook. A gaffon, a stronze. Don't you speak English? Robbing a gas station? Get some fucking class. Banks are where it's at. You strap a bomb to your chest and pretend you're a victim. Empty the vault, or they splatter me all over this joint. You with me so far? Then hand off the money to the accomplice while the cops are busy with the bomb on your chest. <gasps> You give the fuzz a bogus description of the robbers so they don't know who the hell they're looking for. Then, meet up with your friend, get the cash, and stick a knife in his back. Right, McCool? Sweet, blessed monarchy. Yo, this advice ain't free. Give me all your cigarettes. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, this is so romantic. I can't remember the last time you wined and dined me. Let's say we sneak into the bathroom for a little appetizer. <laughs> sure, get an appetizer. Who gives a sh**? Are you even listening to me? Why do you keep looking over there? <laughs> oh, God! You brought me here just so you could watch Cheech? So what? I can't sit by myself like some pathetic loser. Hey! Oh, where you going? You're spying on your elderly uncle while he's on a date. You got some serious problems, Jimmy. Who's pathetic now? Still you. Yeah.
He's given her the old Belgian wishbone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, that's nasty. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Musaka! Oh. Oh. You hear that, Toby? He got it on the first try. Who's Toby? <laughs> oh. What's your game here, Cheech? Ha! I could ask you the same thing. Toby, I can explain. No need, Jimmy. You're under a lot of strain coping with your feelings towards your uncle. Not to mention the ridiculous pressures at work. Actually works pretty easy. Oh, you're such a trooper. That's why you deserve that cake. Toby, listen. Cheech is going to rob your mother. Too late, Jimmy. He already stole her heart and some change from the bedside table. But don't worry, we're gonna get you the help you need. My name is Jimmy McDougal and- Uh, Jimmy? <sighs> My name is Jimmy McDougal and I am a peeping Tom. Uh, that's my seat. Finally, some action around here. But I can sit somewhere else if you're already eating. Oh, look, you are, aren't you? Sorry, I'll just go. <laughs> Lord Stanley's Cup! We've never had a riot before. Gina, hit the floor. I will come and get you. Don't bother. I'm just starting to have fun. But you're in danger. Ha! But cool! All right, Cheech. How you gonna steal the goose if it's already stole? Stolen. Damn it. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Jimmy? <gasps> are you spying on Cheech and my mother again? What? No, no, no not at all. <sighs> I think maybe you need another session at Peeping Tom's Anonymous. You got it all wrong. I'm just trying to stop Cheech from robbing your mother. Look, let me show you. God, no! I don't want to see it! Ah, crap, it's stuck. Jimmy, please, don't show it to me! It's very inappropriate! Come on, baby, come on. Here it comes, right there. Right there. <laughs> For the love of God, right Jimmy! There. Stop masturbating in front of me! Right there! <laughs> Peking Duck. Nailed it! Why are we having a stapler safety meeting? Sounds made up and stupid. You know what they say. An ounce of prevention is worth 0.4 kilograms of cure. <laughs> oh, I can't lie to you, Jimmy. But you're gonna thank me after this. After what? Your intervention! Oh, Jesus Christ. These people are here because they love you. Except my mom. She's here because her finger's stuck in Cheech's zipper. I was giving him a diddle. Everyone has written a letter about how your problem has affected them. All we ask is that you hear us out. Yeah, come on, Jimmy. You're tearing this family apart or something. Don't you start with me, Cheech. Will you listen to what the people who love you have to say, Jimmy? You bet your ass he will. Wait a sec. Where's Gina? McCool took her to prison. That's about the only thing that makes any sense right now. All right. Cookie, you're first. <sighs> Sorry. This is hard for me. <clears throat> okay. Dear Jimmy, you owe me a dinner! Love, Cook. That was beautiful. Sometimes we have to listen to what isn't being said, Jimmy. Can I listen from the bar down the street? Okay, who's next? Dear Jimmy, you know when you got a whiz at night, but you don't want to turn the lights on because it hurts your eyes? Well, what if you put lights around the toilet seat? So, Cheech, what the hell are you doing? I'm reading my invention letter. Okay, Teresa? I didn't know we were reading these out loud. Be brave. This is a safe place. Sad face, angry face, thumbs down, dark clouds, Japanese goblin! What are you talking about? I wrote my letter in emojis. That is so dumb face. Dear father, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to write. You are more important to me than boring. You make me want to be a better man, you know that? All right, that is it. But I'm not finished my- Katie, I'm talking here. You want to know what my problem is? I'll tell you. The only reason Cheech is going out with Greta is so he can steal her goose. 
Don't you mean gobble her goose? Ew! I just pictured it! It's the Gibraltar goose! It's this famous old statue that's worth a lot of money. <gasps> Ain't that right, Cheech? You have always been my rock. Jimmy, you of all people should know how hard I've tried, how long I've searched for the one thing that has deluded me all these years. See? He's after the goose. I'm after love. And now that I finally got it, you want to take it away from me. My port in the storm. But now, I think you owe Uncle Cheech an apology. I got Cheech's apology right here. I'm not the one with the problem. It's you people. You're all crazy. Call me when you're having a real stapler safety meeting. Ever since I was a little boy, I longed for... I think that went well, don't you, Uncle Cheech? Have we met? <laughs> <laughs> Canadian prisons are the kindest in the world. Why are they doing this? Stop, Stop rioting, rioting this, this instant. instant! Screw you! Someone's coming out with demands! I say this at the risk of being unsportsmanlike, but as soon as the bastard shows himself, make an example of him. Cancel that order! Stand down, stand down! Gilbert, lower the shotgun! Gina, thank goodness you're all right. Those cowards sending a child to do their dirty work. You want to hear the demands of what? Yes, but first, let's get you to safety. Never mind that. There's only one demand, McCool. Don't ever try to scare me straight again. That's why they're rioting? Yeah, they do whatever I tell them. Now, do we got a deal or what? Yes, fine, but how? All right, Jagoffs, back to your cells. No one mentions this at the staff meeting, understood? I'm looking at you, Gilbert. Aha! Oh! Aha! 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 You're adrift in a sea of sorrow, and I want to. What's going on here? Aw, oh, come on! See? I caught him red handed. Cheech is trying to steal the goose. In fact, they all are! If I wasn't so damn mad, I'd be pretty proud right now. For the last time, I ain't here to steal no goose. I'm here for love. Freda, I want to say. Smith, will you make me the happiest man in vagina and become my wife? Oh, gee, yes. I can't wait for you, me, and Toby to start our new life together. Who's Toby? I'm Toby. Me, me. How can you not know that by now? I co-signed your small business loan. I gave you a bath. I helped you design the toilet light. Oh, nice to meet you. I am Toby! Nice to meet you! I'm Toby! Toby! Got that? My name is Toby! T-O-B-Y! <laughs> Toby! O-H-E double hockey sticks! What a kid at? <laughs> you never mentioned you had a kid? I was young! I needed money! But no one would buy the baby off me. Yo! Back off! I can't be in a relationship without trust. <laughs> I don't suppose you learned anything from this experience? Just how to turn a toothbrush into a knife and make a bomb out of coffee creamers. What am I going to do with you, Gina? I don't know, but after this debacle, I'm gonna have your badge. Because I placed you, a minor, inside a prison among hardened criminals and a riot broke out? No, because I lifted it just now while you were yakking. That's your cue to hop on your horse and yell something stupid, hotshot. <sighs> What's this for? I brung you a cake. I gotta have a reason. Look inside. I knew it! You were gonna steal it the whole time. Not at all. But that bitch lied to me. You lie to me, I steal your goose. General principles. So? What's it worth? Nothing. It's a Chinese knockoff. Hi, Chief. <laughs> it's Tracy, right? La 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 la
la la Saskatchewan, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. How you doing? Back where I grew up, you had three career options. Cop, priest, a gangster. My old man was a wise guy, so that's what I was. Who doesn't want to grow up to be their pop? Unless he's a priest. Then you got bigger problems. Or a cop. In which case, fuck you. What the hell's that? I hit something? Jimmy, what are you doing back here? Impersonating a spare tire. What's it look like? I want to learn the family business from Pop. You're too young for this kid. Go hit your ride home. At his age? Are you nuts? That ain't safe. Here, take this with you. I wanted Pop to let me stay, but he was being such a prick. I mean, it's not like I was some kind of moron or anything. Oh my god, I'm so sorry! Don't worry about it. We're out here to whack Polly anyway. You made your bones, kid. You murdered a man and bonded with your father over it? Technically, it was manslaughter. And I'm just saying, it was a nice moment. Not for Paulie, it wasn't. Gut shots take forever to kill you. Bastard lingered for days. Don't listen to him, Pop. I think bonding over some Jagoff with more holes in him than Swiss cheese would be great. Let's start with Cheech. <laughs> This kid, <laughs> what a card. <laughs> but if you think people up here in Mother Canada don't got any daddy issues, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. I hope taking me to the antique fair wasn't too traumatic for you fellas. At first I wanted to blow my brains out, but then I got numb from boredom. Now that I've been antiquing, it's okay for me to admit that I like show tunes, right? Because I love show tunes. Look at that animal running right beside us, running really, really fast. What show is that from? It ain't. Look. Oh, I got 400 horsepowers here, and she's keeping up with me. Yeah, but the horses in the engine are teeny tiny. For Christ's sake, slow down, Jimmy. What for? Oh, that. <laughs> this wouldn't have happened if Cheech bungeed it to the roof like I said. If I knew what bungee meant, I'd have done it. But I don't, so I didn't. We're gonna get rich racing this horse we bought. I'm gonna name it in honor of Cookie. Really? Yep, I'm calling this filly Cookie's fucking wardrobe. Cause that's all we heard about on the ride home. That's sweet, Jimmy. But are you sure it's a filly? I checked, right up to my elbow. Sorry I missed antiquing in Moose Jaw Cookie. Uh, sweet Canadian pickers. What a lovely wardrobe. And who's this? <laughs> <laughs> this is Cookie's fucking wardrobe. Yes, I realize it's Cookie's, Jimmy, but what of this horse? It's Cookie's fucking wardrobe. We've established who owns the wardrobe. No need for... Oh, I see. Her name is Cookie's Fluffra wardrobe. That's terrible. Beats calling a horse. Is that so? I'll have you know that I and horse both happen to think that horse is a perfectly utilitarian moniker. You can't name something what it is, that's stupid. What am I gonna do? Go inside and say hello to my two girls? Daughter and Antichrist? Hey, look, it's my son! Massive disappointment! Hey! It looks as good as new, which means you screwed up. It's supposed to look old, like an antique. Hey, nice cupboard, Ma. It's not a cupboard, Ignoramus, it's an armoire. Don't talk to my daughter that way. <laughs> Oh my god, do you realize what you just did? I gave him a dirty look. That was no mere dirty look. You have the Malocchio. But I don't want to be a real boy. It's the Sicilian evil eye. The power to curse anyone who crosses you with medium to serious misfortune. Does this mean I have to 
to do stuff? I, I don't want to do stuff. It's a gift that runs in our family, but skips a generation. I always thought Gina'd be the one to get it. Ha! <laughs> in your face, Gina! Teresa, the Malocchio is nothing to be trifled with. You got a lot to learn, young lady. I know. Like what the hell trifled with means? You're both nuts. There's no such thing as the Malocchio. It's a silly superstition. Don't you diss my magic curse and stink eye. Ooh, I'm real scared. <laughs> ha! Play. Am I throwing this race or what? Ah, you don't gotta throw nothing. This animal runs like my bowels on taco night. Yo, Cheech, looks like we're not allowed to race. Cookie's fucking wardrobe is pregnant. Don't look at me, I pulled out. Sorry, it's my go-to when I hear someone's with child. The dipshit duo blows it again. I'll be in the lounge. Do not join me. I had a lot of money riding on this animal. How'd she get knocked up? McCool, that's how. I bet that horse of his did it. I can't say I blame her. Horse is hung like a McCool. Jimmy, we gotta get what's coming to us. And we'll do it like our Sicilian ancestors did. In paternity court. Jimmy, this is preposterous. Relax, McCool. We're suing the RCMP, not you personally. Yes, you are. The department says I'm responsible for horse's actions. Geez, that changes things. You saved me a trip downtown. Thanks. I want the truth. Read back that testimony. I want the truth. <laughs> I really shouldn't. I have a race coming up. Oh, come on, baby. You know I love you. Oh, okay. <gasps> but use a condom. I thought you were on the pill. I am, but it don't protect you from the clock. Hey, I'm clean. I just got out of a long-term relationship. Sounds like someone likes to commit. Get on with it! <clears throat> I gotta prove you're actually knocked up. Uh, think about running water. You know, I object over rule. Sorry, I thought about running water. <laughs> anyway, I rest my case. Oye, oye, court is now in session. What the hell is this? The judge is here, we can start for real. But I got a surprise witness. He did the same thing to me. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Betting on the ponies. Yeah? Well, how about giving your big sister a cut? No way! The hobos who laid the bets for me ain't getting a cut. Why should you? Oh, you better think twice before you mess with me, you gypsy wannabe. You think twice. I mo Cacino, the lunch lady, and she fell into a pot of soup. She get burned? Nah, it was cafeteria soup. It's lukewarm at best. But she did have to go home and change. You ain't getting shit. Put that in your soup. Hey, I think the effects of the curse wear off after a couple of days. Court again, Agent McCool. I'm sorry, Your Honor. When you were a boy, your mother was in here suing your father, Staunch McCool, for alimony. Alimony that remains unpaid to this day, Your Honor. I see. So, we've got Cookie's f***ing wardrobe versus horse. What's your horse's name? Horse. Yes, the horse. What is its name? Horse. You're trying my patience, Special Agent. His name is Horse, Your Honor. Well, no wonder he's impregnating fillies willy-nilly. Give the animal the dignity of a proper name, sir! It is a proper name, and that is not the concern of this nosy, nosy court. Straight McCool, I find you in contempt. Furthermore, I find in favor of the plaintiff. Agent McCool is ordered to pay all damages. What? We won! Without even saying a word! Makes you think, huh? How different would my life be if I just kept my mouth shut? Yo, toots! Nice cans! <laughs> Ma'am, I'm sorry, that was very disrespectful. What I meant was, nice cans, your honor. <sighs> According to this, I owe you tens of thousands of dollars. I'd hate for this to ruin our friendship. Yeah, that would be terrible. 
Now pay up or I'll break your knees. How am I supposed to raise that much money on a civil servant's salary? Your pop! He's out there living a the high life, totally crushing the whole dead be dead thing. Where did you get these? Oh, I got my ways, McCool. Petey found them on the internet? Yes. He's at the Banff Springs Hotel. Let's get him. He pays you, you pay us, everybody's happy. Except you. All right, I'll do it. Frankly, I relish the opportunity to righteously confront my no-account deadbeat father. I can't face him! Don't make me go! I'm scared, Jimmy, please! I just can't do it! I'll be in our room stress-eating minibar peanuts! You believe this guy? What a baby! No kidding. Look at him running off like a yellow-bellied scaredy cat. Petey, I need you to do my homework for the rest of high school. This is my hiding spot. Get out! No! Someone criticized Teresa at lunch and she turned the cafeteria into the prom scene from Carrie. Oh, let's end this. We'll drive a stake through her heart. That's for vampires. Don't you know anything about the supernatural? Ugh, if you went to Catholic school, you'd know this stuff. You're hiding from Teresa, too? Sure. She's Malocchio and people left and right like a drunken gunslinger. But I got a plan. I'm sick of being pushed around by that power-crazed little psycho. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. How's my favorite girl? Hey, sis, you look so good. Ah, crap, I can't do this. Just at me right now. <laughs> Beat sucking your bony butt, I'll tell you that much. Baccarat! Oh, what we're done, we can do. Gentlemen, welcome. Join us. The game's poker, but these fops think it's Baccarat. They don't speak English, nor do they understand cards. It's like taking candy from several sleazy babies. Excuse me, are you Starch McCool? The one and only, good sir. I need to talk to you about something from your past. My past, eh? In that case, I'll pour you a drink. What's your poison? Cognac? Absinthe? Lithuanian discount? Cola? Hmm, that discount cola is pretty good. He's getting away. I got an idea. All right, let's get him. We gotta ditch some weight to go faster. Oh! <laughs> the air's so thin up here, I can hardly move. I got this. <laughs> Did the Marquis of Catalonia send you because I slept with his sister? What? No! Is this about the gun smuggling to the Congo? Please, do you expect those child soldiers to arm themselves? No! Straight McCool sent me because you slept with his mom. This is the ride of my life! Coincidentally, that's exactly what I said to Straight's mother. All right, kid. I'm taking away your allowance, I'm grounding you, and I shredded your driver's license. Ma, what the hell are you doing? I'm teaching Teresa values. Give me that stuff back, or I'm gonna super triple Pinocchio ya! You haven't got the balls. Ew, yeah, no, I don't have balls. But that's got nothing to do with this. <laughs> ha! Malocchioed by your own Malocchio. Eh, that sounds lame. Hoist by your own petard. Not as lame as that. What's gonna happen to me? No! I've gone full frizz! Someone wants to meet you, McCool. Ask him for the money. Hello, Straight. Been a long time. How dare you try to shake my hand? Mother had to take in sewing and moonlight as a dominatrix because of your neglect. And you never came to my birthday parties. I offered to pay, but she refused. Said my money was dirty and ill-gotten from card hustling and shady deals. Not to mention the counterfeit My Little Pony merchandise. That's a lie, damn you! I'm no monster! Why didn't you answer my letters? Did your mother burn them without showing them to you? How would I know? I don't see the resemblance, do you? 
If it's money you want straight, I'll gladly wire it from my bank in Geneva. But in the meantime, let's make up for all the lost years and get to know each other. <gasps> Son. Wire from Geneva. All this line in a book. As if McCool had fall for that. No! Oh, Papa! No oh, straight! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Are you nuts inviting this guy to stay with you? He's a con man! Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. What is that, the Beatles? The Bible, Jimmy! Oh, must have skimmed that part. Jimmy's right. I've been a deadbeat, and I said all the same things that he's saying to you. Just not as fancy. But he's my father. He'd never lie to me. Come straight. Let's do all the things I missed when you were growing up. Start with giving him lots of money. Oh, we're changing his diapers. I hear that's real nice. Why are you dressed like a female gym teacher? I tried washing my clothes. The washer caught fire and burned him. This stupid curse is the worst. <laughs> ah! Are you kidding me? How'd this get in here? The Malocchio works in mysterious ways. Help me, Ma. I want to be rid of this. All right, but it's going to be tough. First, I need your picture. Wait, I should do my hair. <laughs> Staunch, where's the money? Patience, Jimmy, it's on the way. Isn't it, Dad? Indeed. I spoke to my bank manager, Hans, and he assured me that... Hans? That name sounds as made up as all your excuses. So you doubt my word, good sir, and I use good sir sarcastically. I'll write straight a check for the full amount. <sighs> I bet that ain't worth the paper it's printed on. Actually, it's gold flake paper. Very expensive. Oh, real nice, Dad. This is from my Cayman Island account. It'll take a day or two to clear. Oh, Christ, another dodge. Jimmy, until this check clears, I don't want to see you, understood? Unless there's witness protection business, or if you need anything, or if you just need a chat. But outside of that, you are persona non grata while my father is visiting. Good day, sir. OK, I'm ready. What do we do? Sit, my child. Here's the thing about the Malocchio. The curse wears off after a while, but there's always the danger of being recursed. One could say it's a recursive curse. Or one could shut up and let Mama talk. Sorry. Anyway, Teresa, I can't take the evil eye away from you, but I can do this. Gina? Did you put those pictures online? Not yet, we didn't. But if you ever give anyone in this house the Malocchio again... Your social life goes kablooey. Uh-uh-uh. Okay, you win. I'll learn to control it. For the record, recursive means occurring repeatedly. And since we're on the subject of a curse that can reoccur, recursive is a doubly amusing wordplay because... No one can! PD. All right, we gotta prove once and for all that McCool's pop is a no-good grifter. And we'll do it by breaking into his house. <laughs> Actually, let's just use the door. Canucks always leave them unlocked. Ah, oh, Jimmy! It's breaking and entering, not entering. <laughs> Stupid. Elvis Stoico's quadruple jump! What are you two doing? We got him, McCool, and we got him red-handed. I told you my red hands were from eating pistachios. Looky here. Credit cards, and not a single one with his name on it. Passports from different countries, different aliases. And a bag of mustaches. I'll bet this one ain't even real. Ow! It's real, you twit! He's a flim-flam man. We just can't figure out if he's flimming ya or flamming ya. I assure you, my intent is neither to flim nor to flam. Then why do you got McCool's banking information written down here? For the money I owe him! But, but I didn't give you that information. I found your bank book. I had every intention of ripping you off! Don't 
listen to them, son. They're idiots. They couldn't find tart at her and feather me, so they used maple syrup. Jimmy kept drinking it. Then Cheech tried to get feathers out of a foam pillow for an hour. Straight, I am not a good man. In fact, if I didn't escape from Morocco when I did, I wouldn't still be a man at all. But I never lie to you. Not my own flesh and blood. But he did break your window. Look! The baby horse is crowning! I can't believe I ran my own father out of town on a rail. Literally, the 315 to BC. You did the right thing. Sooner or later, he would have ripped you off and ripped out your heart. Which would not be as gross as what I'm looking at right now. I was blinded by the need for a father figure. But who needs that when one has such good friends? You still owe me the money. <sighs> I know, Jimmy. I know. Oh, I finally gave horse a name, didn't I? Tiefenbaker. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. Special Agent Straight McCool. Here it comes! Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Um, that's not a horse, that's a mule. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Mules happen when horses do it with a donkey. Cookie's fucking wardrobe was knocked up when we bought her. Good news, you're off the hook. Thief and Baker ain't the father. <laughs> No, oh, splendid, because if I did have to pay you, I have the money! My father's check cleared! Oh? He was telling the truth, Jimmy. My long-lost father was telling the truth the whole time! How do you like that? I was so sure he was a dirtbag. Well, I guess we better sue the guy who sold us a pregnant horse. Perfect! I'll go get my lawyer wig. Yo, McCool, can I count on you as a witness? For Canada, where apparently a jackass can ride a jackass! Hey, Jimmy, can I go next? La 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 la